everybody. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video and I'm gonna apologize now uh, if the sound quality is poor and the you know recording uh, is worse than normal uh, simply because my family and I are in the process of packing up and moving uh, to a new house. So that's why the videos have been a little less frequent and that's why things are a little bit off kilter today. But I wanted to take a second and show you guys the new Creality CR Touch. You can see I've got it installed right here. So I have it installed on an Ender 5 Plus. So this was actually a pretty easy swap on my end. And to be honest, it was probably not necessary because as most of you probably know, the Ender 5 Plus actually comes with a BL Touch. So that's where I wanna start off first. I wanna start off with a comparison of the two. So in terms of size, the CR Touch is a little bit wider. Switching over this way. They're about the same in terms of width. The CR Touch is a little wider there as well. I will say that I like how, how nicely uh, the color of the CR Touch blends in with the rest of the machine. The BL Touch kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, but you're my, you know, you're, it's your preference, so whatever you really like. Um, what I did for this one was I actually first tried to swap out the BL Touch that was on the mount that came with the Ender 5 Plus. Um, you know, just try to swap it out normally, but unfortunately I kind of ran into a couple of issues with that and, you know, it's honestly easier to just swap out the whole thing. But before we get into that, I do want to show you, uh, in the words of Brad Pitt in movie 7, what's in the box? So here we have our CR Touch Auto Leveling Kit. It has a nice little Creality uh, mascot on there. I'm going to be able to show you the different sides. So, getting back to what's in the box. I'm doing all this one-handed, so please bear with me here. All right, first off, instruction manual. It's gonna show you everything that you need to get yourself up and running. So this shows it connecting to a 32-bit board. Um, from what I can tell, the cabling that is included with it basically is the exact same thing as a BL Touch. So realistically, this should work on any main board, um, you know, regardless of if it's a 32-bit, an 8-bit, if it came from Creality, if it came from, you know, another manufacturer. So I just wanted to point that out here as well. But it does show you everything, and it does come with um, adapters for the Ender 3, Ender 3S, which I'm not really familiar with, CR10, Ender 3 Pro, uh, Ender 5, Ender 5S, Ender 5 Pro. Also comes with the Ender 3 Max, the Ender 3 V2. Oh, that's right. I was talking about mounting this guy on here. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a notch cut out there. Compared to the one for the DL Touch, there is not. So I couldn't, I couldn't uh, just take the DL Touch off of this one and you know, replace it here. But when I pulled the bracket off, I just pulled this cable out of the BL Touch and just put it into the CR Touch. It was actually pretty straightforward. So as you can see, there's a blue light in there. Um, and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna have it going through and, and kind of leveling as we go through this here. We got some leftover stuff. So we'll go through the rest of the box while we're waiting on this guy to come over. Maybe we'll pause here. Sorry, I actually just wanted to take a second. It was honestly easier to just pull all this stuff out. So this is the cable that comes with it here. This is the same end as what's on the BL Touch. This is a different end. So if I have to kind of go back on my word a little bit here. While the CR Touch itself should still work, you may need a different cable end over here if you're using something other than a Creality 32-bit board. I apologize for any misinformation on that one, but you know, functionally, it should basically be the same thing. So if you have an existing DL Touch, let's say for example, you have one already mounted, 
um, and it breaks and you're looking for a replacement, if you want the CR touch, you should just be able to unplug it here and plug it right in, because like I said, that's all that I did with my BL touch. These are the other brackets that came along with it. There you go. So that's basically everything, including this guy and this guy. And these cables, like I said, are still here just because I already had a BL touch in there. So then we're gonna, just going to come down here. So it's going to go through and it's going to do its normal, its normal process, but I just want to let you guys kind of see how this is working out. It's kind of hard to get you a better angle than this, I apologize. I did not have a chance to move uh, this guy downward yet. But as you can see, if you're familiar with any of the bed probes, it's largely you know the same thing. Um, I'm not going to get into any kind of technical differences between the two. I'll be honest, that's kind of out of my realm of what I'm, you know, what I'm familiar and knowledgeable in. I'm just trying to show you from a usability uh, perspective, along with comparing it to the BL Touch, which is kind of the standard that, that most people go with. If you'd want to, you know, really see the difference in terms of accuracy as compared to a BL Touch, you're probably going to need to do a little bit of research online. Again, I apologize, that's a little bit out of my wheelhouse. But at this point, you can see. It works pretty well, uh, no problems here. Um, I think it'll be a very adequate replacement for my BL Touch. The only thing I may need to do, simply because this is set up for a BL Touch and literally all I did was a swap of the cable and the bracket there, I may need to go in and adjust uh, my Z offset. So that's really about all I might have to do. It seems okay so far. There's not really much more to it than that. Seems like a good product. Um, I've not had any issues with it so, so far. It's been pretty accurate from what I've seen. But, all right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all stay safe out there. Have a great rest of your weekend.